thing. Let's go. All right. Well, first of all, thank you so much for being here and making this so magical. I've had so much um, amazing comments in the chat and also personal messages to say what a great opportunity. And that really goes to our speakers for donating, <laughs> makes me quite choked up, for donating so graciously their time, their wisdom, their Saturday to us and also some of their work as well for our prize draw. So we're going to get to my talk now, which is what options are out there and are they really healthy? So here's what to expect during my little prezzo. Um, we're going to have a look at why supermarket breads can wreak havoc on your body. We're going to look at some real food alternatives. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Primal Alternative and the story of how this business started. There's also going to be a little q and I'm going, then going to wrap up the whole of the summit and then do that incredible prize draw. Now, <clears throat> if you haven't found out what's in the prize draw yet, then you're going to love it. So we've got the Simple Healing Foods cookbook from Joe, the Low Tox Life food book from Alex Stewart, who you've seen today, the 10-day meat stock challenge from Elise Comerford, who was our first presenter today. And we're going to throw in as well some of our primal alternative quirky cooking pastries, macadamia and currant shortbread, and low tox life brownie mix and that will all be shipped out to you so stick around because uh, not only does it pay to stick around to be in the prize draw but it pays to stick around to actually watch the presentation because there is a chance that we might drop out and not record <laughs> so if you're watching the recording then you are lucky so before I get started I'd love to know if you could let me know in the chat have you heard of Primal Alternative before? So a little introduction from me. I'm a certified Primal Health Coach with over 30 years experience in the health and wellness industry, which started at the age of 14, teaching aerobics. Oh, that was a long time ago. Um, I hosted a podcast on the wellness couch called the Primal Alternative Podcast and have spoken on many, many podcasts and at key wellness events across the country. I've had my own food as medicine health transformation, um, which I'm going to share a little bit about in a moment. And most importantly, I'm a woman, I'm a mum to Sam and Millie and wife to Mike, and we live on 100 acres of bush with MBN satellite, <laughs> which is a little bit sketchy at times. Um, but yes, it, immersed in nature was very much um, key to my health transformation as well. So it was really interesting seeing um, Elise's presentation this morning when she just talked about how grains affect our body. And I was like, oh my goodness, tick, tick, tick. So this was my shopping list of disaster. And I literally could not work out why I was feeling this way because I was eating according to the food pyramid. I was working out at the gym. But yet I was completely constipated. Like I know we all love to talk about poo, so I'm just going to talk about poo. But I would do like literally two or three poos a week. <laughs> so I was incredibly toxic. I couldn't sleep. My entire body was inflamed, um, which meant I was in pain. I, couldn't, I was hobbling around like an old lady um, because I had plantar fasciitis from a gluten insensitivity, a gluten sensitivity. I had incredible headaches to the point where I'd have to hop out of bed in the middle of the night to pop some neurofen to be able to go back to sleep. My stomach was bloated all the time and painful to touch. So like any kind of waste and oh my goodness, give me the maternity pants. And because this went on for such a long period of time, I developed a lot of um, anxiety and depression and even a couple of phobias around the kids getting sick. Well, no mother wants her kids to get sick. But you know, when you have an obsessive thought that you just can't shake off. And, you know, I've read Louise Hayes, you can heal your life. And I could not slap an affirmation on this and make it go away. And the weirdest thing was, I knew this wasn't me. I knew it wasn't really me, but I couldn't work out um, why I was feeling like this. And, and to be honest, when I visited the doctor, I was pretty certain that she was going to tell me I had some hideous disease and that, you know, I was probably going to die because that's how bad I felt. But to my surprise, it was a gluten intolerance, which also came along with a leaky gut and small 
into uh, sorry small intestinal bacterial overgrowth so you saw what elise said this morning and how those sorts of things can affect your body well i was all of those symptoms personified however i reclaimed my health simply by getting back to the foods that we evolved and thrive on as a species which are meat, fish, fowl, eggs, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, fats, and oils. So I ditched seed oils, I ditched gluten, and then went on to ditch grains and just embraced nature, um, focused more on sleep, on connection. And the transformation was, was amazing. That So much so that I reached that stage of self-transcendence. You know, when you're when you're sick, it, you, it's a very selfish part time of your life, and it needs to be because you need you're not used to anyone else when you're feeling that way. So you need to take care of yourself first. But you suddenly reach a period or a phase which I call a self transcendence, where you're like, oh, I feel incredible, and I want to help other people feel the same. So I started writing a blog. And people would come up to me in the street and put their hand on my arm and say things like, well, what are you eating? Because, you know, I've been taking anti-nausea tablets for five years and I feel exactly the same as you do. So I qualified as a health coach so that I could help other people like me reclaim their health just by changing what was on the end of their fork. But my client said this to me and let me know if you felt like this in that they were just felt so overwhelmed um, by everything uh, that was involved with this because, you know, like you, you, you've, we've heard for today from some incredible speakers and yes, it can be simple, but my God, it's overwhelming, isn't it? To start with, you've got to get to know your farmer. You can't just buy meat from the supermarket in plastic anymore. It's got to be grass fed. You've got to make sure that, you know, the animals are being looked after. Your vegetables have got to be spray free and in season. Well, I didn't know tomatoes and eggs were seasonal. Did you? <laughs> You've got to soak your nuts. You can't just go and buy fizzy drinks anymore. You have to ferment your own kefir and kombucha. Anyway, suffice to say, uh, I was overwhelmed and my clients also found that they were overwhelmed. Yes, they felt incredible going grain free, but they could only keep it up for part of the week before the wheels fell off and then they went into that spiral of not coping, you know, where you go and you order the pizza, then you finish off the bottle of wine, then you get the ice cream out and then you just feel like you've, like Alex was saying, fallen off the wagon uh, and it's a horrible place to feel, so much guilt, so much shame. So I said, hey, it doesn't need to be like that. You know, you can just swap out those foods that you were eating with healthier alternatives. So when I first, I'm a type A personality, Kelsapreeze, and when I first decided to go gluten-free, I just went out to the supermarket and I bought gluten-free bread, gluten-free cereal, gluten-free pasta. My goodness, how disappointing that was. <laughs> Anyone else done that too? It's just wretched. It's like cardboard. And I'm laughing at what Alex was saying about having to quadruple toast things to make it have a resemblance of something edible. Um, so what I'd done was very similar to Alex and Joe as well, just messed around in the kitchen. And my husband, Mike, had said, look, we're not going paleo unless we've got cookies. So I took our you know, family favorite chop chip cookie recipe, swapped out the self-raising flour for almond meal, swapped out the um, sugar for coconut sugar, swapped out the margarine for organic butter and swapped out the compound crappy supermarket stuff, chocolate for some 70% dark cho cho chocolate. And the results were amazing. Like the paleo version was so much nicer than the original version. And I think it was Alex was saying as well, like, paleo baking there's no kneading there's no proving there's no rising i'm not a, i'm not a i'm not a cook i'm not a chef but these recipes were pretty faff free and foolproof so i was on to a bit of a winner so i offered these products to my clients and to be honest with you that side of the business just took off people didn't want to have the coaching anymore they were like okay i get the, i get the concept give me the bread give me the pizzas give me the cookies I'm going to do it myself. So I went on to um, sell these products. First of all, 
uh, via Facebook, very much hiding myself because who was I to go out and be in the food industry? I didn't look the part. I certainly didn't have any food industry experience. I felt very like a novice. So um, I was quite surprised when the health food shop rang me and told me that people had been raving about my products and could they stock my products in their shop? And then Massimo, the local pizza guy, said he wanted to stock paleo pizza bases in his freezer. So we did that. And then a cafe got in touch with me. And long story short, I was next minute at the farmer's market and had this food brand, this grain-free food brand, Primal Alternative. And as my health continued to improve, my intuition also um, improved as well. And one day when I was just minding my own business, the universe tapped me on the shoulder and said, you need to share this business model with other women who they also want to help other people, but they're not Joe Witten. They haven't got the following that Low Tox Life has got. They haven't got all the years of uni experience and clinical practice experience that Elise Comerford's got, but they want to do something but they don't know where to start and they want to do it together as a sisterhood. Imagine like having your own business, but being supported on the journey with other people doing the same thing as you. So in 2016, at the end of 2016 on Boxing Day, actually, I decided to share my little business model with other people. So that's been, this is the eighth year, sorry, the, uh, this is the sixth year with a license. And this business model has been, successfully replicated in four different countries across the world. We've now got 33 streamlined products over four different product lines and over 400 stockists. And this is the world's leading bake from home business. Like there's nothing else that I know like this out there. That's why a lot of people don't know about this until they come across it through, you know, amazing friends like Joe and Alex. And this model has helped over 270, actually. I was just counting that last night. 270 people, mostly women, two fellas, but mostly women, get started in their own primal alternative business. So our range uh, includes breads, pizza bases, wraps, cookies, pastry, and jellies. We also have a really good granola range. You saw Joe with the fat and seedy granola for the crumble today. That was my breakfast. It's delicious. It's certainly a lot more nourishing than the old bran that I used to eat, which by the way, did not help me with my constipation at all. <laughs> Um, we also have a range of packet mixes. So if you enjoy the baking experience, but you don't want to go out and charge your pantry with 75 different ingredients and spend $70 just to make one loaf of bread, you can buy one of our packet mixes and just add your wet ingredients and have that bake at home experience. We also have a really good low carb pancake and waffle mix, which is always, there's always a mix of that in our fridge. So I can cook up a couple of pancakes on the morning for Millie. She loves those. And also very proud to collaborate with Alex with our brownies mix. Primalist does also sell on their bulk ingredients, a bit like a co-op vibe, which is very cool. So Primal Alternative has grown. I absolutely have stood on the shoulders of giants. Um, met Jo uh, from Quirky Cooking in 2017, and she very kindly uh, told, loved the business model and told her audience about what we were doing. And then um, it was when she was in collab with Fuad, rang me up and said, would you be interested in producing our pastry? Well, I nearly jumped for joy. I would love to. And so that's a beautiful collaboration, which has now gone on to a friendship. We speak every day. I'm very proud to um, call Joe Witten my business bestie. And in 2021, we started collaborating with the amazing Alex, who you've just seen with our brownies mix. And this is something that's a little bit different to big food businesses as well, which really rely heavily on adverts and clever marketing gimmicks. Well, this is a lot more community uh, centric um, word of mouth from uh, people that we, we trust and that we love. And that's been beneficial for all of the primal alternative producers, as well as our customers. What a great way to find out about a product that's a little bit different to what's on the shelves. So you guys are a bunch of conscious consumers. 
consumers have lost faith in big supermarket brands. In fact, Player MR said 59% of people believe that natural products meet their dietary requirements much better than regular supermarket foods. And 45% said the range of natural food options, natural food options in the, in the supermarket is insufficient. Would you agree with that? I think that if, you know, supermarkets are fine if you're shopping the perimeter, but if you look in the middle sections of the shelves, and I loved that at the little bit of history that Alex gave us about how this came about during wartime, but the majority of the stuff on the shelves is there for shelf life. Um, it's there to make a good profit. Nobody cares about whether it's, it's good for you or not. And it's predominantly composed of three ingredients, wheat, dairy, and sugar. And we've already found out that those three things not overly beneficial for our health. So let's have a look at what options are out there and what are the alternatives. So if you struggle to find healthier additive free versions of bread and wraps at your local supermarket, you're not alone. And today I'm going to be comparing the ingredients of these common supermarket goods to real food versions from Primal Alternative. And in doing so, in doing so I'm going to show you that it is possible to have beautifully prepared gluten-free alternatives that are going to nourish your body and leave you feeling satisfied that are made from nutrient dense, real food ingredients, uh, and they won't leave you feeling foggy, bloated, irritable, or worse with an allergic reaction. So if you think that you're going to be okay with a gluten-free bread, then think again, how many times have you just gone? Yeah, I'll go for the gluten-free option. Um, this one, uh, this uh, Bergen gluten-free sliced bread is a really popular store-bought option. And it's a really good representation of a common supermarket offering. So um, you can often assume that a gluten-free item is going to be healthier for you. But like, who is it who's telling us? Was it, was it Alex telling us that we can now get gluten-free uh, cheesy puffs and things like that. So I think we now know that just because it's gluten-free doesn't mean it's a health food. And one of the main issues with many gluten-free breads is that they have a concoction of additives. So let's have a look at this one. So in there, we've got water, modified tapioca starch, rice flour, kibbled soy, linseed, canola oil, sugar, chia seeds, soy flour, egg white, iodized salt, so many ingredients. Uh, yeast, vinegar, and vegetable gums. So the largest ingredient in this product is water. That's cheap. And the second ingredient is highly processed starch, which are both cheap ingredients, which is why, you know, when you're comparing gluten-free products with grain-free products, it's like comparing apples and oranges. So many manufacturers are creating gluten-free products made with cheap fillers and highly processed flours like corn, rice, soy, potato, and modified tapioca starch. They also um, usually contain high amounts of sugar, unhealthy fillers, and additives. Yet because they're gluten-free, they slap a higher price tag on them. And these manufacturers create a cheap product and earn a bigger profit margin. Hey, it's a win-win situation for them, but it's a losing situation for us as the consumer. And after becoming frustra frustrated with what's available at the supermarket, many people attempt to make their own healthy bread products at home. As working with gluten-free flours, it can be it blends, it can be very challenging. And it's often too difficult for the novice home baker, or you might do it some weeks, then other weeks you just don't have time. So you just nip out and get something from the supermarket. And you can get a bit sort of cheesed off with that, right? <laughs> However, fortunately, there is a healthier bread alternative and you don't need to make it yourself. So Primal Alternative has plenty of wonderful grain-free, so therefore naturally gluten-free bread alternatives, which tick many of the allergy-friendly boxes that many people need. So one of my favorite breads from the range is our zucchini bread. So let's look at that ingredients list. So you can see it's made from 100% real food ingredients and it contains a healthy green vegetable, which is a really big bonus. So we all love a good fruit bread, right? 
I know I do. And it, um, it's, we can, hang on a minute, just letting a few people in. It's hard being the host and the presenter, <laughs> but I'll get there. And at least it hasn't dropped out. I'm so grateful. Thank you, tech gods. So there's tons of raisin breads and raisin toast and fruit breads on the shelves at the supermarkets. Um, and, but unfortunately, they're not as healthy and wholesome as you would hope. So let's have a look at the ingredients within this popular raisin uh, loaf. I'm not going to read it all out. You can see I've highlighted the bits in red that are not overly good. And look, just like other store-bought breads, fruit breads can often contain multiple emulsifiers. In addition to emulsifiers, this particular bread contains multiple vegetable oils. And look, it's highly recommended to avoid vegetable oils for a few reasons. But many of the issues are rooted in how canola oil is produced. And to keep it brief, canola oil is extracted and then, um, sorry, canola oil is extracted and made using harsh chemical solvents. The oil is then further refined with more chemicals, bleached and then chemically deodorized because of its natural harsh rancid smell. Mmm, whose mouth's watering now? And look, as you can see, these highly processed vegetable oils are far from natural and are also quite damaging to our health. Um, you, if you, I would imagine that if you're here, you've been on a health journey yourself and you have experienced um, the list of disasters that I showed you before. But once again, um, you're able to you know, pronounce every ingredient that's in this list, right? Because it's all real food. There's no additives in sight. Um, beautiful fruit toast. Who's tried our fruit toast? It's so nice. It's so heavy. People say to me, oh, it's like a brick. I say, well, you could build houses with it. Um, it's lovely. It's dense. Have a couple of slices of that for breakfast with peanut butter on or butter, and you will be full until dinner, uh, dinner time. Well, maybe, but probably definitely till lunchtime. Lastly, let's compare wraps. Wraps are just one of those things that I find are just so much fun. Um, you can do so many things with them. And it's one thing that is definitely missing. And while there are quite a few grain-free paleo breads on the market, there's not very many wraps. So um, again, these, it's tricky to find something in a supermarket if you're looking to avoid additives, especially if you want to find a wrap that doesn't taste like cardboard. Um, so let's have a look at that. Goodness me, look how long this list is. Uh, immediately, you can see that these wraps aren't a great option for you, even though it's got all the things on there that, you, you know, on the front, you think, yeah, look, it's vegan, it's gluten free, it's, it's reduced carbs. It sounds amazing. But I wouldn't have this in my pantry. Um, and I certainly you know, wouldn't want to be adding vegetable gums, emulsifiers and preservatives in my cooking. Would you? Would you have those things in your pantry? However, we have an answer for this too. We have our beautiful um, primal alternative nun hemp wraps. And check out the ingredients. So we've got tapioca flour, which is essential for the bend in there. We've got hemp seeds, coconut flour, linseed, sea salt, grain-free baking powder. And you can buy this as a packet mix and make it yourself or you can buy them ready-made. And these wraps are really awesome because if you drape them over the, um, the sections in your oven, you can make taco shells in there as well, which is so cool, right? So the key um, for all of this, you know, like it is great to be able to get the primal alternative pre-made packages for convenience. Um, it's so appreciated. I personally now do not have time to bake and I have a local primalista who bakes for me. Everyone thinks this is hilarious, um, but she bakes our cookies. She bakes our wraps, our pastry, our granola. And I, she gets in touch with me every week. What would you like to order? Because I don't have time to even remember to order. So she, it's so helpful and so helpful that I don't have to go to the health food shop to get it. So I, tell her what I want and she bakes to order and she drops it off. I mean, what is this? It's like incredible. So if you've been frustrated with supermarket options and you've attempted to make healthy gluten-free breads, wraps and fruit bread yourself with subpar results, check out Primal Alternative and give it a try. But, you know, if you're making that change, 
too grain free. Here were a few simple guidelines to help you navigate the aisles. So remember whole food is best. Nature doesn't intend for you to eat ready-made meals with artificial preservatives, gums, emulsifiers, colors, flavors, and other dubious additives. Look at how processed the product is. If it contains multiple numbers in the ingredients list, it's probably not worth eating. The simpler, the better. Always read the ingredients. And a good rule of thumb is, if you don't recognize an ingredient, your body won't either. So don't expect to know it all. Like Alex said, you know, this is going to really hurt if you want to become an expert overnight. Give it a few years. Eating additive free doesn't happen overnight. It takes practice, it takes education, and it takes constant incremental upgrades or small changes. So give yourself a break. No one expects you to be perfect and to know all this information overnight. And comparing common store-bought items with real food versions will give you a much better understanding and appreciation for additive free items. All right. How are we all doing? Let me just have a quick look in the chat. There's lots of chat there. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Definitely heard of Primal Alternative. Yay. Ask lots of questions. Go, go, go. Wow. Okay. Lots and lots of things there. So cool. All right. All right. So love it. I'm going to come back to those questions in a tick. So where to get Primal Alternatives from, right? So we're not in Collies uh, and Walls. <laughs> We're not in Willies and Coles. Um, you can buy on the Primal Alternative online shop if you want for ease. So just go to our website, primalalternative.com. But I would love it more if you went to primalalternative.com forward slash primalistas and you look up, it's like a big Google map. You just type in where you are and your nearest primalista will pop up. I would love you to get in touch with her directly and place an order through her. Now, something that we didn't really touch much on today, or maybe we did when my internet dropped out, but is packaging. Um, we have to package, you know, to, to pass for our environmental health officer, we have to package food. We can't just, you know, I've asked people, people say to me, can you just put it in a tea towel or a waxy wrap? It needs to be sealed. So it's a really, really strong brand proposition of Primal Alternative that all of our um, bread packaging, pizza wrap packaging, is compostable cellophane. Yes, how good is that? Love it. And everything is locally homemade. It's baked to order for you. We don't, um, you know, have a warehouse. We don't stack them high, sell them cheap. And I don't know about you, but there is something, an, a different energetic vibration or a different energy when something's homemade versus something that's made by a machine in a factory. Do you know what I mean? When somebody bakes something for you or makes you ill and they make you some chicken soup, it's like infused with their energy and their love, right? Which is so important um, on your healing journey as well. So how's Primal Alternative going in 2022? The message of this license and this bake from home business is really resonating. People are really keen to jump on board with a tried and tested model. And, you know, the, the, the business, and this is... Um, in absolute admiration and awe for the primalistas have it's developed into a very credible and trusted brand to get the likes of Alex Stewart, Joe Witten, Elise Comerford, Cindy O'Meara, Helen Padderin, <laughs> so many more. Um, think it's a good idea and a good brand is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. And you know that even though all the things going on in the world, stagflation, pending recession, war, pandemic, Food is a counter-cyclical industry. What does that mean? Well, it just means no matter what's going on in the world, people still need to eat. And just because there might be a looming recession, you're not going to go back to eating tip-top bread, are you? Like if you have a gluten insensitivity, <laughs> no. <laughs> in fact, people are more focused on their health now more than ever. So the sorts of people that join Primal Alternative, and I'd love to know if any of these things resonate with you. You know, maybe they've lost their passion for their nine to five. They just can't do that grind anymore. The nine to five is a very patriarchal model. I don't personally think it's overly suited to women. And that's just in my experience as a woman uh, burning out in corporate, but also as a 10 years um, that I spent as a recruiter. 
interviewing women and finding out their motivations and what they were trying to achieve. Um, and also having interviewed over 850 people who were interested in becoming a primal alternative producer, that's what I'm hearing. We don't want to do the nine to five grind anymore. Thanks very much. We've got kids now and we want to spend some time with them. We want to spend some time in our home. Um, and it would be brilliant if we could make a little bit of money from there as well. We want to do something we enjoy doing. I speak to so many women who are super qualified. They can do their job stood on their head, but it just doesn't resonate with them anymore. It doesn't light them up and that's okay. Maybe you've always been interested in becoming your own boss. So many people that join have thought it's always been in the back of their mind to do this, um, but they just get caught up on the business side of things and oh, what am I going to call my brand and what font am I going to have and what will the logo look like and what do I have to do? These labels have to be food standards compliant. It can be very overwhelming. Or maybe they're just like me. They wanted to help others reclaim their health with real food. So I know that I've had a lot of messages today about how this works. Um, so I just wanted to share with you this quick video um, to explain a little bit of how it works and what you get with a Primalista license. So here we go. With the Primalista license, you're going to get the recipes and resources to create a business that works for you and your lifestyle by producing and selling the Primal Alternative range under the Primal Alternative trademark brand. The license gets you from A to B quicker than if you started a brand from scratch because the product development, branding, packaging, marketing, pricing, and compliance are all done, which means you can get started in your business, baking and earning money within two to eight weeks. The Primalista license is a proven model with a simple to follow system that's been replicated over the last five years by over 220 Primalistas in four different countries. This just means there's more chance of your business being successful too. I'll tell you about a few of the tools available to make your business a success. You'll get the suppliers to get your labels, ingredients, and bags at the best price possible. And also our food safety program and letter templates for your food business registration. And if the thought of applying for a food business registration with cancel makes you feel all scared and you're so certain your cancel's worse and your old kitchen won't pass, then congratulations, you're normal. But this document is going to show your environmental health officer everything that they are looking for in terms of our method, um, all of our lab tests to prove that our products are low risk, not potentially hazardous. Therefore, we can make them from a domestic kitchen. And it's also going to give you an idea of what council's looking for and arm you with the good food safety and food handling skills that you'll need to know to get approved and be a legit food business operator. You'll get easy to follow recipes and how to videos all designed for your domestic kitchen. And whether you've got a 600 or a 900 oven, you'll be able to fit 12 loaves of bread in at once. You'll get products that we know sell and meet the paleo low carb and vegan market demands. Your business will be advertised on the Primal Alternative website so customers can find you and place orders. You'll get, uh, sorry, <laughs> I also wanted to tell you about the online shop. So we have an online shop and as a Primalista, you'll be offered the orders that come from the customers closest to you. And if it fits in with your bag, you can do it, but you can also Uh, turn them down and pass them on to another Primalista. You're going to get marketing materials. Um, so this is on our resources page in the resource bank. Head down to marketing templates. And you're going to find things in here um, like flyers, business cards, online order postcards and banners 
for your farmer's markets. We've also got really awesome customer and stockist brochures, not featured here, but they are on there. You're also going to get over 500 professional photos, quote cards, and customer reviews to share online. So here's some of our pictures of our packet mixes and our pancakes. And over to our social media tiles, you'll see Primal Alternative helps me buy. And you've got like, if you don't know what to post on social media, here's some ideas. <laughs> um, this will keep you going for a year, right? And um, what that's going to be doing is just really enhancing the like, know, and trust of your brand so that you can get more sales. Are you feeling a little bit terrified and excited about starting a business? If so, that's a good sign. And I call it terror excitified. It just means you're doing something that aligns with your values, but it's new. So it's scary. And that's why in the resources, you'll find tools to help take your mindset next level. Because starting a business is a wonderful opportunity for personal growth, learning new skills, and having new experiences and contributing in a new way. You're also going to get support with our super collaborative community who get it in our Primalista Facebook group. So there we go. <laughs> so in summary, you'll be joining a well-established business with, with the support that you need so that you'll have more predictability in your business, more time, more money, less stress and less risk. So the next step is to book your free 30 minute call with myself or the Primal Alternative Calls team. And on the call, we, what we'll do is we'll spend some time getting clear on what you're looking for. And that'll help us determine if the Primalista license can help. And if you're a good fit for Primal Alternative, we'll use the information that you provide on the form when you book your appointment. And we'll also ask you a few more questions to dig a bit deeper. We'll share the details of the Primalista license with you in full, including all of the financial investment and the $2,000 worth of bonuses, including the baking starter kit. So make sure you ask about that when you book your call and we'll answer all of your questions. And if it's a good fit, we'll offer you the opportunity to join us. So All right. Thank you, Helen of the past for that uh, great What are you video. waiting for? What are you waiting for? Yeah, we don't want to say it again, though. All right. So, you know, a side hustle, it's more than just another stream of income. It's also the new job security. If anything, over the last two and a half years, we've learned that one is a scary number. Uh, so it's good to have multiple streams of income. Primalist Amanda, I think she's here today, too. She's on standby in case I have an internet dropout. She said it's a brilliant business model. I was on the fence for four years and can't believe I didn't start it sooner. So if you're looking to share your passion for food and you want to get out there and help others, you want to get paid to do something that you love, be your own boss, choose your own hours, decide when you take a break and never miss a social commitment or important family moment because of work, then maybe this is something new for you to check out. Now, very briefly, I'm going to explain to you how much you can earn as a primalist because quite a lot of people think, oh, you can't get paid for baking cookies from home. Well, you can. So this is a rough idea. This is about 80 products. Um, once you got the hang of it, it'll take you about 10 hours to produce. Um, so when I was a primalist, I was baking for two mornings a week and um, about four or five hours in the kitchen. Uh, one was for producing for my stockists. I do that on a um, Monday morning. The other was on a Thursday. I would bake for my market on a Friday afternoon. During that time, I could produce about $1,200 worth of product. This is this much here. And that would earn me about $655, um, which, you know, paid the mortgage. Very good. So let me quickly run through the cost to get involved because I'm so proud of this. I think this is such a low cost. Uh, there's a $1,000 joining fee, then then you can either pay up front $5,999 or pay on a payment plan. Oh, sorry, pay up front for five five and save $500 on a payment plan, $620 a month for the first 12 months, and then just $120 after that. 
there's a ton of bonuses that come with it. You can find out all this information on the website. But the thing that I love the most is our baking starter kit. So this is worth over $620 and it includes 220 personalized labels, 200 compostable cellophane bags, your apron with your name and state on it. It's organic fair trade apron, six primal alternative bread tins and a one-on-one -on -one coaching session to have with me whenever you want. There's also a seven day cooling off guarantee. So that means once you become a primalista, you get to check out all of the materials. And if any point during those first seven days, you think it's not for you, just let me know. You get a full refund. When you want to hang up your apron, as we call it, you only need to give seven days notice. Um, you'll find that being a primalista and running your own business is the best personal growth journey you've ever been on. Primalista Tanya says, I've grown and learned so much during my three and a half years as a primalista. The community has been one of the warmest, most helpful and supportive spaces. And I've absolutely loved being a part of it. So like I say, I'm never sad when a primalista leaves because I know she'll have had some amazing growth new contribution and great experiences. And I see the license as a bit like a real life learning on the job versus like doing a business course and then having to come up with a brand and a business idea and test the market, blah, 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 blah. So if this idea really resonates with you, then we'd love to talk to you. If you head to primalalternative.com forward slash call, you can book a time. Um, we've got weekends, evening times. Um, yeah, we'll explain how it all works. And if it's a good fit, we'll offer you the opportunity to join us. All right. Well, thank you for listening to that. I know a lot of people will be very interested. Um, and I have yeah, hope that information has been helpful. There's a ton more uh, info uh, on the website, primalalternative.com. So let's wrap up what we have covered today. A massive thank you to you for being here, for registering for this uh, and making it huge. We had over, last time I checked this morning, over 520 people have registered. We've had constant numbers around the 100 mark for each of the events today, which is fantastic and the content that Elise, Joe, Alex um, and I hopefully have contributed has been so helpful you know you think you know it all <laughs> to, to a certain extent but as Dean Martini says when you're um, green you're growing and when you're ripe you're rotting there's always more to learn and today was fantastic it was really really amazing so a massive thank you to our um, speakers we've had elise comerford run through why we're going to go grain free what happens to our bodies when we eat grains and um, we've had joe give us a wonderful real life cooking demo um what did she say keeping it real in her kitchen um check out her on instagram for her Insta story, she's posted all of the finished products on there and a great chat as well, making it feel a lot of people were saying during that uh, talk, how reassured they felt. Uh, and I just felt so relaxed watching Joe cook. Did you? It was so nice. We've had Alex Stewart from Low Tox Live talk to us about the history of snack food and junk food and why it's okay to do some quality outsourcing and some brilliant ideas of how to have those um, those core meals that you can then jazz up to give different tastes to, which is brilliant. I've been talking to you about what grain-free options are out there and how a lot of the stuff that's on the supermarket shelf is subpar and how I'm very happy to collaborate with awesome women, awesome primal alternative producers to bring you a locally made grain-free option in sustainable packaging. So what's been your favorite part of today? Share your biggest takeaway with us. There's been so much chat. It's amazing. Fabulous presenters, great information. Loved it all. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. It's so great. It's so great. Now we are going to get to a little bit early ahead of schedule. Oh, before we do, keep in touch. I know that um, Elise and Joe and Alex have shared this event with their audience, but let's all be friends together now. <laughs> let's all be in this community together. Let's keep in touch. So if you aren't following these people on Instagram already, get out your phone, 
these are the Instagram um, handles. Is that what you call them? The apps. So we've got Elise Nutritionist, Joe Witten, Low Tox Life, Primal Alternative. Make sure you're following all of those people so you can hear, you can keep getting educated, you can keep getting inspired. Um, and you've got a whole new bunch of pals. You've widened your tribe, widened your community. And really, that's what all of this is about, right? Getting back to real food, sitting around the table with good friends and um, enjoying life. That's really all it's about. So, da, 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 da. it's prize winner time. I'm going to do it now. Hopefully, nobody comes in 10 minutes later and gets cross with me. So, what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to rattle through this before the internet drops out. Can you tell? <laughs> My poor husband is like wringing his hands in the, in the lounge. Oh, I'm like that. Don't drive the cars. Don't turn the telly on. Get off the internet. <laughs> I'm like I'm such an amateur. My internet's dropping out. Oh, funny, funny. So what I'm going to do is randomly choose our prize draw winner. But before I do, let me tell you about that amazing prize. So first of all, we have got Joe Witten's Simple Healing Foods Cookbook. It's so lovely. It's just like a big hug. Um, if you don't know what to cook, you just make yourself a cup of tea. You flick through, you get your diary out and you start thinking about what you're going to make next week. So one of those nice, big, chunky book. And it's got some really good basics in there. Like how I've just started making my own yogurt. Um, there's kombucha recipes, stock recipes, all mayonnaise. All the basics are in here as well. We've got Low Tox Life food book from Alex Stewart. We've got um, Elise Comerford's 10-day meat stock challenge. And you'll get a link to join that virtually. You're going to get some primal alternative quirky cooking grain-free pastry and sweet potato pastry. So maybe you can make some of the things that Joe was making today, as well as some ready-made macadamia and currant shortbread. So you'll be able to just rip open the package, have a cup of tea and eat the whole packet. Yeah, why not? And Lotox Life Brownie Mix. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are you ready for me to do the draw? We need some music. Awesome prize. Excellent presentation. Thank you so much. Wonderful prizes. Gorgeous book. Thanks to all the presenters. It was great. I've loved the whole day and all the presenters. Thank you so much for putting it together and open it to everyone by leaving it as a free event. I know. How good is it? Loved all of it. So informative and a huge thank you. Selflessly giving your time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so much information lovely thank you so much all right love you all seriously I wish we could go out and have a big cake together <laughs> all right I'm gonna pick the winner now are you ready where's my participants right here we go do it is Penny Armstrong Penny Armstrong, you are the prize draw winner. Go Penny, go Penny, go Penny, go Pen. Yeah. So Penny, congratulations, Penny. Um, Penny, hopefully you're there. Are you there, Penny? What I would love you to do, Penny, please, is email me. Yay, Primal Old. Yay, wow, it's you. You're the winner. Primal, sorry, no, info at primalalternative.com. So that's my email address, info at primalalternative.com. Please send me um, your address, Penny, so we can your so I can put your order in with the local primalista who's going to bake everything to order for you. Uh, the books may come separately, uh, and I will also email you the link. Oh, you're in Perth. Yay. I'm six hours down the road in Albany. <laughs> I'll come and drop it off. Oh, no, it's miles away. Um, brilliant, 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 brilliant. So please, info at primalalternative.com. Send me your physical address. We don't do post office addresses because things go moldy in the post office. Um, and your phone number as well so the prime list can get in touch to deliver or post. I'll let you know when it's coming. Now, there is going to be a replay available until July the 11th. I have put a time on it, end of the school holidays for us in WA. Um, so plenty of time to check it out. I'm putting a, a date on 
when it's going to be taken down because I want you to watch it. If you're going to watch it, if it's just there forever, you won't watch it. But if it's there till July the 11th, you'll watch it. We're also going to be sending out, we've got a brand new Primal Alternative Recipe ebook that we've put together. Well, when I say we, my amazing assistant has put it together. I'm really bad at things like that. So the primalists are so creative. So they're always coming up with new things to do with the recipes. Um, so we've got all of their recipes in there, as well as Joe's. Do you remember Joe was saying today, we've got all the things we can do with pastry. That's all in there. Um, so that'll be coming as well. And Joe is going to share with us an article on um, how to swap over to a more of a healing way of eating that will hopefully help a lot of you. So that is us. We are done. My last message to you is thank you so much. Seriously, this has been such a buzz. Now the internet's actually working. It's great. <laughs> we should do it every Saturday. <laughs> but I just wanted to thank you all for your time. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for being here. Lots of love on your growing free journey. Let's keep in touch. And until next time, lots of love. Bye.